Happy New Year! This seems dangerous. Today I'm going to change the front and rear twofer differential fluid in this 2019 Ram 1500. I'm starting on the front differential and the first step is to remove the skid plate. The 5 8 socket will remove the four bolts holding it. Next. With a drain pan in place, I loosen and remove the fill plug. The fill and drain plugs both take an 8mm hex bit socket. Quite snug too. You want to remove the fill plug first just to make sure it'll come out and not leave you without being able to refill it. Nothing would be worse than draining the diff and not being able to fill it up again. This is just a little added insurance. I'm putting on a high temp thread sealant on these plugs. It's really not necessary on the front plugs due to the way that they're made, but it's a little extra peace of mind. I put a link in the description to the sealant I used and links to some of the other items I used on this job. I earn a small commission on anything you purchase through those links and it's no extra cost to you, but it greatly helps this channel. The oil's drained, so time to put the drain plug back in. For the front diff, I'm using Amsoil Severe Gear 75W90. I've never used an Amsoil product, but I hear good things about them. The front diff takes just over a quart of oil. I fill it up until the oil flows out of the fill plug, then wait for it to drip, then replace the fill plug. Then I just need to bolt up the skid plate. On to the rear. The rear diff is the same job as the front, except for the skid plate. I remove the fill plug first, and this is also an 8mm hex socket. Once the fill plug is removed, I remove the drain plug with a 14mm hex socket. The drain plug was a bit difficult to remove, but a little penetrating oil and a bigger wrench did the trick. Hey, have you liked and subscribed yet? Now would be a good time. It's 13 degrees and this fluid takes forever to drain. Here again I'm putting sealant on the plugs. Unlike the front though, these do need sealant. You need to put it about three quarters of the way around the plug at the start of the fastener avoiding the first thread. Now that the oil is finished draining, it's time to put the drain plug back in and fill it up. I'm using Amsoil again for the rear axle. I have a 392 gear set which requires 75W140 gear oil. Friction modifier isn't required for my application since I don't have a limited slip differential. It's electronically controlled. If you have a limited slip diff, you need to purchase the friction modifier separately. The rear diff takes just under 3 quarts. I fill it up until the oil flows out of the fill plug, then wait for a slight stream, and then replace the plug. Clean up the mess, and job done. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Workshop and Home. We'll see you next time.